Now you don't have to pay that all at once, I hope I didn't give you that impression. Most of our customers do a payment plan. Now we're not a finance company, so all of our payment plans are interest free. We have a two month, a four month, and a six month plan, all interest free. Simply divide the total cost by two, four, or six. So if you put this 18 piece set on a six month plan, you could take it home today for only 170. Is that something you'd like to do today? Honey, honey, please, please. Honey, honey, please, please. I tell you, you got a fine product here, but I think that uh, we're not interested in it right uh -huh. now. Oh. Is it too many knives or just too expensive? It's neither. I've got 1,100 knives in the kitchen right now. 1,100 knives are sitting out there. I don't think we need any more knives. Robert, Delilah, I completely understand, but I want to be honest with you. I really want you to buy. I'm trying to sell you today. Not because I want you to help me pay my bills this month. I want you to buy because I can tell you like what you see. The commission I make off this sale will be gone by the end of the month, but this set of cutlery will be on your kitchen counter for the rest of your lives. And I'll tell you what, if you end up hating these knives, I'll come back, box them up, and ship them back myself. Full refund. That changes everything. So Delilah, Robert, what do you say? Um... Can I get these handles in white? <laughs> of course. Okay, oh. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'll take them. Great, huh? Congratulations. Go to college, get a job, nine to five. They want us to believe that we are sheep, so they can take our wool. You are not a sheep. Terrence, Terrence, time to get up. Oh, I'll make you pineapple pancakes, huh? Hey, I need you to take Hunter to the pharmacy. Come on, wake up, T. Wake up, Terrence. Hunter, get him up, please. Mom wants you to take me to the pharmacy. Cool? All right. Good morning, beautiful. Concerned, Bill. We'll talk about this later. Oh, really? When will that be? You don't ever want to talk about anything. Talk about what later? I'm going for some fresh air. Oh, great, babe. Yeah, go for a smoke. That'll solve all our problems. Uh, who, what's going on? Why isn't that at work? <sighs> Mom, it's like 8 in the morning. Yeah, it's good for the digestion. Here's money for the pharmacy. I'm late, and you got to hurry.
What's the deal with mom and dad? What do you mean? I mean, they seem to be fighting a lot more lately. I stopped going through with them that a long time ago. Do you think everything's all right in the bedroom? Yeah, it's good. I didn't think about that. Ah. Here you go. Come on. Why don't you just get a medical card? You know, say you got like the plague or something. No, oh, that's too intense. Say you got insomnia. Dude, we can't afford one. <laughs> well, why don't you just get a job? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Come on, dude. What are you gonna do when I'm at UCSB with all those beautiful bikini babies? Uh, I don't know, sir. Ted, when are you gonna do something with your life, bro? You know, like, become a contributing member to society. <coughs> Dude, I am doing something with my life. Oh, yeah? Like, what? Well, like, yesterday, mm -hmm. I was watching TV, mm -hmm. and I saw his commercial, mm -hmm. and I started thinking to myself, I mean, uh, I was watching TV. Hey, dude, what were we talking about? I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Downstairs. Huh? You're in trouble. 
<laughs> Shut up, dude. I do. What did I do now? Nothing. We just need to talk to you for a second. What's up? Listen. They cut my hours at the shop. What? Some money's tight. Terrence, you're an adult now. Since you're not going to community college right now, we need you to help around the house. What I'm trying to say is we'd like for you to get a job. Excuse me? I mean, just for the summer until things pick up. You want me to get a job? Yes. We need your help. We can't afford to take care of you and Hunter right now. I just graduated high school. We know that, but now it's time to learn how to be a responsible adult. <laughs> I've never worked for the man before. Can't they just wait till after summer? It's either help us with some bills or move out. <laughs> oh, move out. Yeah, that's good. This isn't a punishment, Terrence. We can't even afford to pay Hunter's copay right now. I mean, we're asking you for help because we need it. All right, we'll have to do. Just go to some interviews. Find a job by the end of the week. Okay, I'll try. Ah, oh, Terrence. Are we done here? Hmm? Cool. Great. You really think anybody will hire him? Who knows with this economy? Who knows? kinds of skills you have? Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I can pretty much do anything. Is this some kind of joke? If you need coffee or tea, <laughs> the best. Tea's super easy for me to do. back massages. At least that's what my mom tells me. I would never hire you. Oh dude, I make bomb munchies. I mean I mean snacks. We'll keep your application on file. Get out of my office before I call security. Nice to meet you too. How'd the surf go? Flat as a pink. I 
about the job interview. <sighs> nah, just hang in there, bud. Had to turn the cable off. Sorry, buddy. Tough times. Dear Terrence, congratulations on your recent graduation. Work opportunity in your area. Immediate opening for summer work. No experience necessary. Call immediately. What? <laughs> J-O-V, huh? Yeah, it's just an interview. My parents are making me go. And why do your parents want you to get a job? <sighs> Dude, please, I need your help. Come on. I just don't see why you need me to go. Corporate people scare me, man. And you know more about this stuff than I do. Your dad has a nine to five, so please. I'm kinda in the middle of something, so. Come on, man, what are you, jerking it? Hey, that information is proprietary between me and the internet, so. I'll smoke you out. Let's go. Do you need to like change your shirt or something? No, it's a business casual. Come on, don't wanna be late. King of the world! You know you gotta be like Leonardo DiCaprio on that shit. Like Titanic, you know? Cause you're about to make a James Cameron movie up in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's how you gotta do it. You just gotta be like, I just made a $400 million movie. And that's all they'll care about. You just go in with that sort of thing. Corporate people are all about image and respect. You know what I'm saying? You gotta climb certain social ladders. It's like high school. Oh, dude, get up. Stop, 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 stop. Won't you bring a cup of coffee? What? No, come on, man. Too bad. Bosses love coffee. Oh, and stay away from the copier. Great, we'll see you Tuesday at 3. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. You here for the interview? Good morning, madam, indeed we are. Okay, what's your name? My name is Lord Byron, but please, call me Lordy. And this is my associate, Terence. You will find him eager, earnest, and always eating organic. You'd be a fool not to offer him the position. I'm just the receptionist. But why don't you take these applications and have a seat? If you finish early, feel free to grab a magazine and relax. Manager will be with you shortly. Thanks. That's good. We have architecture today. I want to work on my building. Hi, I'm calling back about your appointment tomorrow. Now, the position we're looking to fill is a sales rep position. Now, I'd like to be upfront with you. We are a direct sales company. Now, who knows what that means? Yes? You sell directly to the customer, so no advertising. Very good. Customers don't come to us. We go to them. However, we do not tolerate any cold calls or door-to-door -door sales. Now, why do you think that is? Go ahead. They'll just slam the door in your face? Exactly. Gives us a bad corporate image. Nobody wants someone knocking on their door trying to sell them something. The way our program works is you get qualified people that you know, and then you get references from there. You find your own customers, and you're in business for yourself. Now, it's not for everyone, but you're your own boss, you make your own schedule, and you decide how big your paycheck is at the end of every week. Plus, we have tons of fun. <laughs> I'll give you more details on the way our program works later, but I'd like to begin by showing you our product line. Our main product, is Charcot Cutlery. We make the world's finest kitchen cutlery made with the highest quality materials made it's right here in America. Now, I'd like to show you a product that demonstrates the quality of Charcot. These are our kitchen shears. Dude, that's scissors. Anybody got a penny? That's a pair of scissors. Thank you. Check it out. Huh? Now, how do you think customers will react to that? Yeah! Give yourselves a round of applause. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you for coming. So, what made you decide not to go to college? Uh, I, I didn't get in anywhere. You still living at your parents' house then? Yeah. Mm hmm? Would you have a car? Mm hmm? Yeah. See? Well, do you have any questions for me? Um. Yeah, uh, what are all these trophies for? It's uh, Bush Beard Honors. It's a sales competition. Oh, that's cool. So, like, the company awards them? Uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming. Uh, we're gonna review all the applications and we'll give you a call if a position's available. It was a pleasure meeting you. Look, man, I, this is like the fifth time I've heard that this week. I understand that I didn't get good grades and I have no experience, but I'm a really hard worker and I learn really fast. And I'll do whatever it takes. You tell me what to do and I'll do it. Just please, just, just give me a chance. Please. Are you available this weekend? Yeah. Yeah. These are the times for training. You show up early, you dress sharp. Okay, yeah, okay. Thanks, man. Yeah, I, I, you, won't, you won't regret it, man. Welcome to the San Diego Sharp Coast sales team. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> It's a scam, T. Ask people you know. <laughs> Find your own customers. <laughs> ask for people's phone numbers? Come on. When I ask for someone's phone number, it's not to sell them some knives. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's better than 9 to 5. Dude, think about the people at the interview. What about them? They were like babies. They were our age. Even that uh, manager. He was like, I want to pinch his cheeks. He was so young. So? So? Dude, I bet that penny was fake. We just graduated. We should be surfing and sexing, you know? Smoking. Oh, speaking of which. Are you serious, Tom? You had that in your hair the whole time? Uh... But what do you mean, selling knives? Are you... You're not talking about weapons. <laughs> no, sharp coat. It's a high quality kitchen cutlery. Oh, so in a store then? No, I set up appointments with customers and do these little demonstrations and that's it. I could totally do that, mom. Selling knives? <laughs> that sounds a little bit like door-to-door -door sales. What? No, I start with people I know and then ask for referrals. That just, that doesn't sound right. I get paid just to show it and commission. I can make so much money, mom. Yeah, I, I understand that. I just don't like the idea of, of this kind of job for you. It's dangerous. Well, I got a job. That's what you wanted, so I don't know what else you want me to do. I want you to get a job, but I just don't want you to... Phil, what are you doing home? Bill. Hey, I asked you a question, hon. Wrong. They let me go.
Sorry, long hair. What's your name? Uh, Terrence. Sorry, I'm late. Terrence, sorry, I'm late. My name's Nick Gold. My friends call me Nick. You can call me Nick Gold. I basically run the joint. I'm the top salesman here. Get used to it. What's with the threads, Terrence? Uh, this is the only car shirt I got. Sorry. Ugh, that's gonna change. All right, take a seat, will you? Yeah, let's go. What's your name? Mandy. What's up, Mandy? My name's Terrence. Yes, I can see that. Gerald. What's up, dude? Terrence. I think they're fooling anybody with this room. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what do you mean? I already scoped out all the trophies. They're totally fakes. Why would they buy fake trophies? Exactly. How's everyone doing today? Good. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You guys ready to learn how to sell some knives? Yeah. All right, that's fired up. All right, we've got a lot to cover today, so I'm gonna need your full attention. Now, Ray Sharp, your San Diego Imperial manager, is gonna be running training today. He should be on his way right now. He's running a little late, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. No big deal. I have a quick question. Yeah, sure, go ahead, Gerald. Isn't it true that you make a sell to friends and family first because they're more obligated to buy? All right, all right, we got another Michael Moore on here. It's all right, hey, this isn't your movie right. shoe. Why don't you bowl for the exit? All right, Nick, let me handle this. All right, Tommy's gonna handle this. Look, Gerald, most entrepreneurs' first customers are the friends and family. Come on. Well, isn't it true that you make money off of our sales, like, like a pyramid scheme? Do you even know what a pyramid scheme is? You guys, you don't want to work in this place. It's a scam, obviously, but we can stop it today. Bravo. Bravo. Very inspirational speech. Are you finished? Good. Because I'm trying to run a business here and you're currently wasting my time and money. Now, if the position doesn't appeal to you, you can leave. But please, don't interrupt my training class, all right? That's just unprofessional. Do you need help finding the door? <sighs> it's gonna be on YouTube. I get back to my parents' house. Sorry about that, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you all to the man, your San Diego Imperial manager, Ray Sharp. Ray Sharp! <laughs> How's everyone doing today? All right. I can see we have some pretty sharp kids here today. Surf stuff, huh? Uh, hmm? I said, How's everyone doing today? All right. Yeah? Are you ready to learn how to sell some knives? Okay. I can't hear you. Yeah. Boom, good, fired up. That's what I love. Now, the first thing you're gonna learn here today are the names and uses of Sharpco. The world's finest kitchen cutlery. Yeah. Yeah, long day, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna go get some food. You, uh, you, you hungry? No, I actually gotta get home. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. I think so. See you tomorrow. Mr. Hayes, this is 
is Mandy with Sharp Co. Like, How are you doing? Water? Yeah, I got your message. I'm just not too sure uh, what the problem was. You're saying that I'm not sure that you're actually supposed to use the knife for that purpose. Okay, yeah. I know. I, I perfectly understand why you'd want to put it there. Um, with the um, I just extra don't really have a precedent for that. I'm, I'm thinking I can maybe yeah. come in and maybe yeah. show you a couple other ones. Maybe this mm -hmm. Tuesday, if you'd like. Sounds good. Um, okay, cool. What works for usually morning or afternoon? If I can get your number. Sure. I've got any time between okay. like 9 a.m. and 12 noon uh, yeah. open right okay. now, so just take your pick and I'll meet you there. Okay, great. And you'll get Hello? Hello? Greg? Yeah, hey, what's up, man? Hey, I heard the phone. I'm, I'm calling because I just got a new job and, uh... Well, congratulations. Thanks, dude. Uh, yeah. I was wondering um, if I could set up an appointment. I, I, have to, I have to make appointments with adults to practice on, and I was wondering if I could come over and practice on your mom. You want, you want practice on my mom? Uh, yeah. Is, is she home? Who is this? It's Terrence. Oh, Terrence. Yeah, no, she's not here right now, man. Went to the Super Kiss Circle K. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, uh, thanks anyways, man. Cool, man. All right. Yeah, I think you get your message. I think that would be a wonderful idea. We're actually selling a lot of those yes, uh, fishing sets and sporting sets for holidays coming up. So yeah, I think it would be a great idea. Hello? Hey, uh, Tyler? Uh, who is this? Hey, what's up, man? It's Terrence. Uh, what do you want? I'm kind of busy right now. Uh, I, just real quick, I, I just got a new job, and as part of my uh, training, I have to set up appointments to meet with customers, and I was wondering if I could meet um, your mom. Dude, practice on her. look, don't call here anymore. All right, bye. Damn it. Good afternoon. You can have your pick. I got so three, four, or five. Any of those times? Perfect. So, uh... Alright. Like a Big Mac, but without the trans fat, it's Zach. Hey, hey Zach, what's up, man? Sir, where you been, dude? I've been like calling and texting all week. Yo, man, you better be in love with some crazy beach baby or something to be ditching me like that, because that's not cool. Yeah, I know. Sorry, man. I, I just, I've been really busy working. What? You took that job? Yeah, look, I got a lot going on right now. I'll tell you about it later, but I just, I'm calling because I was wondering if I could set up an appointment with your mom. Is there any... No, no, no. You must be crazy if you think you're talking to my mom. Come on, man. Please. I, I really need your help right now. Dude, what is with you? My parents made me get the job, right? They're being dicks about it. I promise I'll set up surf time with us in a couple weeks, but right now I just need to do this, so please help me out, okay? Fine. Uh, hold on one second, buddy. Thank you. Ma! Ma! Terrence wants to ask you something! Terrence? Terrence? On the phone, yeah. Uh, hi, Hello? Hello? Hi, Mrs. Zimmerman? Oh, hi, Terrence! How are you? I'm good. I know it's uh, How are you? Uh, build report. Uh, excuse me? Um... I, I can't hear it. I mean, I mean, how are you? Oh, just fantastic! How are you? Uh, I never get to see you anymore because Zachary always goes to your house. I don't know why. This is the pool. But... It's the pool. Well, the reason I was calling is I just got this new job, and as part of my training, I have to find adults to practice on. So I was wondering if I'd be able to come over and practice on you. Uh, Terrence, what is this about? Uh, it's it's for Sharpco. Have you heard of it before? It's um, no, I haven't. Well, okay, it's a high quality kitchen cutlery. I'm sure you already have a nice pair of kitchen knives, but that's great because I can just 
get your opinion on it. Oh, you know what? We do have a knife set, but See, we, we got it that. when we were first married, which is a really long time ago. Oh, yeah, that's that's lovely. Um, I get paid for every appointment, so you'd really be helping me out. Well, um, I, all right, all right, let's, uh, all right, that would be fine. Yes, okay, uh, is tomorrow at 9 or 10.30 better for you? 9 would be that. fine. Not, we no, would do nine. no, that's cool. 9 o'clock, okay, great, well, you have a great day, okay? Oh, and you have a good day, too, and we'll see you tomorrow. Let me talk yeah, to Terrence. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Hey, let me talk to oh. Terrence. Yo, dude, do you want to go, hello? Oh, yeah, no, it's fine. There's just a dog barking outside. Yeah, this Friday is great. Oh, that's what I said. I need to know how to make a lot of money. Win the push. Hey, don't give the kid any false hope. We all know I'm gonna win. Yeah, I saw the trophies. I just don't really get what it is. It's one of the biggest sales competitions of the year. Two weeks of pushing yourself to your limits, and the entire Sharpco sales force comes out and brings out the big guns and shows what they've got. Ah, One saw a sales rep push 75 grand in two weeks. Holy achievers. <laughs> what, what do you get if you win? Well, the rep that sells the most takes home the sales rep championship trophy. It's the biggest trophy you have ever seen. Hey, Tommy Salami. Don't forget about that 5K bonus. Yeah, what are you gonna do with that chump change? I already spent it. Oh, suck my dick, Tommy. <laughs> What'd you spend it on? Can't tell you, Terrence. Why not? Let's just say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So, how do you know you're gonna win? Well, Nick, doing that top salesman in our company right now. And he's on the national sales report every week. The race says it's his time to shine. Ray does not like to be wrong. Oh, yes, that is how it's done. Hi, right, see that, Terrence? What if you don't win? <laughs> Shut up. Oh, I'm, I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> Sorry. Excited for tomorrow? Yeah. A little nervous, I guess. I, I think I'm gonna go get some ice cream to celebrate. Enjoy it. Well, I, I mean, you can come if you want. I, I'd like you to come. I'm sorry, I can't. I actually gotta go put the horses to sleep. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, are you, are you one of those equestrians? Yes, actually. That's, that's so cool. I mean, I've always wanted to ride a horse. Have a good night, Terrence. Good night, Randy. Hey, Terrence! Hey, Debbie! Come here! Terrence, you wanna know how to get a girl like that? Nick, shut up. Don't encourage him. Tommy. Up yours. Shut up. Probably not a good idea to dip your pen in company ink. You know what I mean? His quills never touch paper. Don't listen to John Travolta here, okay? John Travolta, Jackie Chan. <laughs> Shut up, all right? Get some sleep, guys. Oh, Papa Tommy, get some sleep. Babe, 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 babe. <laughs> the worst, Thomas. Pleasant? Persistence. Ah, girls love the chase. You gotta keep pursuing them, Terrence. She says no, psh, you don't let her no say or shake your confidence. Brush it off, brush it off your shoulders. Here, do it with me. Brush it off your shoulders. That's right. You gotta act as if. You know act as if, Terrence? Act as if you got 10 girls' names right there on a little pad next to your telephone, eh? Each one of them dying for Terrence's call. Terrence's call. Yeah, I guess I never thought of it like that. <laughs> it's just sales. <laughs> Can be applied to anything. All right, take it easy. Oh, oh, do me a favor. Sell some goddamn knives tomorrow. <laughs> hey, can I ask you a question? Yeah, shoot. How do you do it? Do what? Sell. 
presentation. Why do you think I wear this tie? Because I love it? No. Yes, I do. Well, you think you can teach me? No, it's push right now. I'm really busy. Yeah, I know, but is there anything I can do just so I can watch and learn? Hey. Uh... Come on, man, please. You wouldn't even know I was there. All right, you can be my trainee. Really? <laughs> Come on, dude. Thank hey. you, man. Darius, do you not understand? You gotta be able to give up everything if you wanna be a champion. Huh? All right. No, no pain, no gain. No drugs. You gotta stay sober. Huh? I stay sober almost all the time. All right, fine. All right, fine. You clearly don't understand. Even if you're down on your deathbed, <coughs> dying, and God himself comes through when he says, Darius, I need you in heaven to be an angel with me. You gotta be prepared to say, I'm sorry, Lord. I still gotta sell one more shot coming I've said before I go. Don't laugh. How do you sell a freezer to an Eskimo? Uh, no idea. You're throwing a space heater for free. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Terrence, I'm not worried about you. Hmm? By the time I'm done with you, you are going to be a blade slinging machine. Let me begin by thanking you for um, for letting me come over. I know you're probably super busy, so I appreciate your time. I, I'd like to share with you today a high quality product called Sharp Cut. Terrence, you're doing just fine. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Sharp Cut has been manufactured for. Uh, Sharp Cut has been manufactured with the highest quality materials right here in America since 1970. Terrence, would you like some lemonade? <sighs> yeah. I'll get it for you. Thanks. Dude, can you please just get out of here? No, I'm staying. I'm gonna be here for a while, and I'd really appreciate you. Dude, I need to make sure that you don't embarrass me. You're already doing things that are stupid. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Some nice cold lemonade. Oh, stop it. Put your feet down. Being rude. It's really good. He's trying very hard. Thank you so much. Go ahead, Terrence. Well, to start off, I'd like to show you a product that demonstrates the quality of Sharpka. Um, do you have a penny? Oh, I'm sorry, Terrence, I don't. Hey, oh. Zachary. Thanks, Zach. These are our kitchen, I mean, these, these are our kitchen shears. They are extra durable, and uh, my favorite thing is that it does this. They can cut through. Uh... Yeah, they, they can, they, they do. I knew that penny was fake. <sighs> ah! Oops. Okay, we, we got two rules today, all right? Rule numero del uno. You are my trainee. I introduce you as my trainee, you behave like my trainee, you are my trainee. Nice, shake hands, yada, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, rule number two, don't talk. Words only come out of my mouth. I don't want to hear a mouse fart out of your lips, all right? That is unless they specifically ask you a question, in which case you answer, or you sound like a retard, and I sound like the trainer of a retard, huh? Okay. God, Darius, what's with the shirt? What? Did you bring a change? Well, that's the only shirt I got. God damn it. You make me want to cry. All right, you need a tie. Here, grab the wheel. You go, we're going to crash if you don't grab the wheel. Okay. All right, here. Look, blue tie. Beautiful. It matches. Wonderful. Meant to be. All right. Jason. Tara. Tara. Jason. Jason. Tara. 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 Jason. Tara. 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 Looking beautiful. How many people become doctors or lawyers? what the hell are you doing? You don't know how to tie a tie, do you? Look at that stupid thing. Take it off. You're gonna make me puke. I'm gonna slap your daddy upside the head. What did Sam have? 
Yeah, well, when you've been doing this as long as I have, you got references to choose from. And let me tell you, Terrence, rich people always refer other rich people. <laughs> Let's be realistic here, folks. This is a great deal. That's <laughs> I get pushy. Oh, Jason, now I see where you're coming from. No, 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 no. But you know what? I'm not being pushy. I'm being passionate because I love these knives. And it is my job to get you what you want at a price you like. For the cooking we do, I think the 18 piece set is all the knives we need. Ding, 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 Tara's absolutely right. You got a smart girl here. But let's keep brainstorming, spitball. Anybody who have an idea, just shout it out as it comes to you. Party, party. What about a party? You throw a party and you got the Johnsons, you got the Jones. George Clooney makes an appearance. <laughs> just kidding. But seriously, people schmoozing, boozing, taking in the abode until their eyes land right on those beautiful granite countertops you have in the kitchen. Tara, beautiful choice. We have very similar taste. It's like an empty stage. Spotlight right in the middle. What do we put there? Not the 18 piece, but the 32 piece cherry wood box set. <laughs> uh, what about all this free stuff you were talking about? You know, I think we made a mistake coming here. What do you mean? I just don't think our product's right for you. Come on, Terrence. Back it up. All right, all right, we'll take it. Well, if you twist my arm, <laughs> wonderful decision. You will not regret this. Very good. Ah. Dude, that was insane. I thought you were gonna leave. How the heck did you do that? Damn it, damn it, you're gonna wet your pants. It ain't rocket science, okay? House like that, you know they're rich, you know they got money, so it's not about that. You just gotta tell them whatever they need to hear to make the sale. Then it's like selling barbecue brains to zombies. So, so you mean like, like lie to them? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, it ain't no lie, as long as you dress it up in a nice suit and tie. <laughs> oh, God. All right, what, what's the total for today? Choosing like 1,500 bucks. 1,500 bucks, good. That puts me at uh, 46. That's 6K for the push, baby. Yeah! <laughs> yes! You're gonna do it, man. I already got a nice place in my trophy case for her. Look at her. Nice rack, beautiful broad. Good girl! When's, when's the push over? Got a week. Oh my, dude, you're gonna do it, man! Uh -huh. You're gonna hey, do whoa, it! Whoa, 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 Terrence, watch the merchandise. Jesus, you break it, you buy it. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, shh, shh. This is the best part, listen up. Why are some people driven to succeed when others make excuses and sit on their butts all day? Why is that? It's because they choose, choose to. Ladies and gentlemen, success is a choice. Oh, this guy's so fired up. Who's this? Nobody knows. See, that's the thing. Ray recorded this when he won his first push 16 years ago when he was still a sales rep. Doesn't remember the guy's name. Look, moral of the story is every sales rep who has ever owned this recording has won a push. Better keep it safe. Just kidding. Listen to it on the way to your demos, kid. Oh, dude, I, I can't take that. Terrace, I don't need your charity. I'm offering you a gift here. I already got the whole thing mesmerized anyway. Take the CD. There. It is yours. Thank you, man. Yeah. You're being kind of pushy, Mr. Terrence. Oh, uh, Ben, I'm sorry if I seem pushy. I, I just... I know you like what you see, and I want to make sure that you want what you like. What, you get what you want, what you like, and um, uh, and and for the price that you want, want to. How much for just this one? Actually, I can't sell the knives individually. You're not allowed to sell the knives individually. Well, yeah, I I could get in a lot of trouble for it. Sure. Well, here, let me tell you what. Um, since you like the, f the French knife and the spreader knife, um, is there any other knife that you like here? Uh, I could probably give you guys something for free. I like this one. Oh, great. Um, that's the, that's the mini carver. Um, and it's a good knife. Um, so yeah. If, if you get these three knives, I will give you the kitchen shears for free. Is that something you'd like to do today? I guess. 
Wait, what? It, that's, you, you, you wanna... We'll take them. <laughs> yes, okay, congratulations. Oh. <laughs> Don't touch me. <clears throat> okay. Well done, Terrence. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I need some more, but... Congratulations, Terrence. You are now officially a shop co-sales rep. Beautiful. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Mandy. <sighs> this kid just won't give up. Hey, hey, I got a question for you. What? Do you like yogurt? <laughs> Go on, you have to. Who doesn't? Oh. Come on, it'll be fun. Fine. But I've only got an hour. Two. So what are you going to do after the summer? Going to go to USD for business management. My dad wants me to take over the family business. What, what does your family do? Commercial real estate. Does it interest you? No. I want to train horses and own my own stables. What about you? I don't really know. Um, I mean, I guess surf? <laughs> I don't know. As long as I can remember, that's all I wanted to do, so. Why do you like surfing so much? Um, well, I mean, I don't know. When you're out there, it's just, it's kind of like riding a horse. Sorry, that's the cheesiest line I think I've ever heard. That was a line? That was a line, yes. <laughs> oh, okay, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's a surf bum like you want with selling knives? <laughs> oh, you know, good old work experience. Looks good on the resume. Work up that ladder. You are such a bad liar. No, uh, um, no, well, my dad lost his job, so I had to, uh, I had to get a job to help with my family, and Sharpco is the only company that took me in. I'm sorry to hear that. Eh, well, should be. It's all your fault. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Are you always this charming? I guess not. Didn't think so. Hundred and thirty two dollars. Boom, baby. <laughs> Can you smell what oh, Papa's honey. got cooking? What the hell is this? It's chicken. Uh. It's black. <laughs> Don't touch it. We've got to say grace. We've got to say grace. Come on, buddy. Dear God, thank you for this food. <laughs> well, thank you for this family. And uh, thank you for Terrence's job. But please, God, if you wouldn't mind, just make Terrence's next paycheck bigger. Give him a break. It's his first job. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, one other thing, God, if you could please help my husband find a new job, I'd really appreciate it, because he obviously can't do it on his own. Sorry. 
Amen. <laughs> yeah, I think what she's trying to say is we're very proud of you. Thanks. You're not going to make me the bad cop here, are you, Bill? I mean, it was a hundred dollars. One hundred and thirty-two. Thank you very much. Honey, I don't think it's enough. Well, I mean, once I start selling more and getting more qualified customers, there's no limit to how much I can make a month. I'm sorry, baby. I think you gotta get a new job. What? No, nah, that's not necessary. Look, I knew this wouldn't work right from the start. Nobody would listen to me. We had no choice, Caitlin. <sighs> Honey, we can't pay our rent this month. Come on. Think you had enough wine for one night? I'm gonna drink as much as I want. Not in front of the kids, okay? You know, Bill, the extra responsibility of being the sole breadwinner in this family has caused me a lot of undue stress, and I need a drink to relax. Cheers. <laughs> Can we just have one night without arguing? Just one. Nice family dinner. Baby, I'm not arguing. Mm -mm. For the kids. Oh, you are just so tough. Oh, Bill. <laughs> You're so dramatic. Somebody's had a little too much fire water. I'm sorry, guys. Caitlin. <laughs> you see these, Bill? Do you see this? This is pants. Right here. I'm wearing the pants in the family, honey. And I'm not going to listen to anybody else. That's a skirt, honey. <laughs> Oh, that is so funny. Let it go, let it go. You've had enough. You are so You've kidding. You've had enough. No. Give me the damn bottle now. Let go of the bottle! Great. Nice. Out! Excuse me? Just get out! Caitlin, it's a shirt. Just relax. I want you out of my house. Um, come oh. on. In your house? I pay the bills around here, and I want you out! Guys, just take a deep breath and chill. Jesus. Okay. <sighs> Done. Mom, what are you doing? He's just, he's bluffing. You know what? It's clear to me that you don't give a shit about keeping this family together anymore. And I can't do it by myself. I'm done! That's such a crock! And you know it! What are you doing?! God! Dad!
Only two reps left in the push period competition sales countdown, and they've both sold over $10,000 of Shark Co. in the last two weeks. Let's give them a round of applause. All right, let's see where we finished up. If you sold less than $10,500, please step forward. $11,000, $12,000, how high are these guys going to go? $12,500, $13,000, oh this one's going to be close ladies and gentlemen, between $12,500 and $12,600. $12,600 to $12,700 to $12,800. It's close. Between $12,700 and $12,750. Looks like we have a win, ladies and gentlemen. guys, that'll be fun. You want it next time, man. I don't deserve it, Terrence. Come on, don't say that. Terrence, you don't understand. Well, I don't, I don't get it, what do you mean? I sold $700 worth of knives to myself. I still didn't win. Hey. Hey. I made your uh, your favorite pineapple pancakes. Yeah, I see that. Thank you. I know I messed up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Why don't you just call him and apologize? What if he's already talking to a divorce attorney? I mean, what if he's slept with that stupid young bimbo down at the restaurant? I don't, I don't think you'd do that. Well, I'll tell you, I called him and I called him all night. And he has not returned my phone calls. I just think he needs some time. Would you just maybe call him for me? What? I mean, just call him to talk to him a little bit. You want me to talk to him? I'm sorry to put this on you. I just, I just know that he will talk to you. Just give him a call and tell him that you miss him and tell him I miss him. I'm actually really not that thirsty, oh, so... Drink up, Terrence. Okay, sure. Mm. Mm, thank you, it's good. Mm -hmm. So, Terrence, mm. do you have a girlfriend? Mm, not really. Mm. That's a shame. <laughs> so, you want to get started? I... I thought that we could just chat a little bit first, maybe. You know? I mean, don't you want to build up a rapport with your customer? Yeah, I, I would, 
But I, I actually, I, I have another appointment after this, so I really gotta get going. You know, don't worry. I mean, you don't have to give me your whole spiel. I'll buy some of your knives. Great, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. I actually know the perfect set for There's you, so. just something that I need you to help me with first. Uh, okay, uh, what, what, do you, what do you need help with? Why don't you come upstairs and I'll show you. Uh, Miss Anderson, I just, I just don't think. Please. Call me Kitty. You? Yeah, uh, I yeah. was looking for a guy named Zach. Zach. Uh, can't say I ever heard of a fellow named Zach. Come on, man. I came to apologize. Good luck. <laughs> I quit. Good. About time. Dude, I, uh, I had to take that job because my dad got fired, so that's what happened. Why didn't you tell me that? I feel like an ass. My, uh, my mom actually kicked him out of the house. What? Why? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to talk about my family drama, man. You don't want to talk about anything. I'm supposed to be your best friend, and instead of talking about something, you just disappear. Yeah. Look, oh, dude, uh, my mom, she got pissed because I, I, didn't, I didn't make enough money on that first check, so they got in this big fight over money, and, and then she kicked him out. That really sucks, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, it sucks, but you know. You know my parents are always fucking fighting. Just wanna let you know, man, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I should have listened to you. That company was a scam. It's cool, dude. Forget about all this? Oh, I've got ways to forget about all this. <laughs> Looks like a tornado hit. Oh, my head. You haven't been answering your phone. Are you trying to ignore me? 
What are you doing here? You just disappeared. Everybody's wondering what happened to you. I quit. Are you planning on telling me? Tell everyone I'm sorry. I didn't give them a two-week notice. I don't really think they care. But I do. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. You can't just disappear like that. What don't you understand about that? If you have something to say to me, then say it. But if not, then I need to go get some water or else I'm probably going to throw up all over you. I knew you just wanted to get in my pants. What? Who the heck was that? <sighs> the girl of my dreams, man. The girl of my dreams. She's in love with you, dude. Oh, dude. It's Tigger's box. When we have cheesy pups. I quit that stupid job. You tell your mother yet? Not yet. No, this isn't something that you should keep from her. What's the point of telling her she's just gonna be like, ah, oh, I told you so. Make me feel like shit. You know, your mother really needs you right now more than ever. I think we have a lot bigger issues to deal with than making money. Well, that may be, but we still need to put food on the table. So if I make a whole bunch of money, you'll come back? It's not fair, but it's what makes the world go round. Look, this job is a great opportunity for you. All right, you can learn a lot. Why don't you just give it another shot? What's the point of making money if you don't have a family to share it with? Dad coming back. I don't know, bud. You have to do something. I just don't think there's anything I can do. I just think we need to wait it out, you know? I don't want two Christmases. Do you? Customers are not up for that set. You say, that's all right. I think I have the perfect set for you. And you present them the AP set. And that is what we call dropping down. Looking sharp, Terrence. I'm going to need some order forms. Thank you. You're welcome. Talk to you for a second. Close the door. I'm gonna have to call you back. All right. Bye. What can I do for you, Terrence? How much do I need to sell to build a wind push? <laughs> Nick's gonna win. That's what everyone said last time. Well, everyone goes for 10K. If you wanna win, go for 15. Okay. Well, how many appointments is that? What's your average order? First, calculate your average order based on previous sales. And then break it down. 
Based on your average order, how many sales will it take to get to 15K? What's your closing percentage? Use that to calculate how many pennies you have to cut. Divide by 14 and you'll know how many appointments you have to go on every day of the push. Wow, uh, all right. Anything else? Uh, yeah, actually. How do you get over the fact that you're selling? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's sales, Terrence. That's your job. Yeah, I know, I just, sometimes I feel like I'm BSing my customers. You know, kind of like a car salesman or something. Let me ask you a question. Why do you think Tommy accepted you into the team? In your interview, Tommy told me you told him you were a good worker, you're quick to learn, you're loyal, all that stuff. You were selling it. Only the product you were selling was you. If you want to be successful at anything in this world, you got to know how to sell. And this is the place to learn. Guess who just sold a 32 piece set? Nick Kidd, boom, bitches! Yeah. See, Nick sells a lot because he's good at convincing the customer to buy what he wants them to buy. Right? And that works for him. But that's not what sales is about. It's about getting to know your customer's wants and needs and then showing them how your product satisfies those needs. Okay. Follow me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nick, get in here. Ray, Ray, Ray. Looking at 1,700 smackaroonies right here. Read them and weep, Terrence. What's your push goal? 15K. Not a boy. You got any extra leads? You know me, right? I'm swimming in them. Good. Then you wouldn't mind giving Terrence a few. What? His goal is also 15K, and he could use a little extra help. Ray, of course. All right, anything else? No, I'm good. Uh, no, thank you, though. Good, because I got to get home and get my kids some lunch. Just remember, the product is not the knives. The product is you. If they like you, they'll buy. Nice haircut. Thanks. Well, well, well. Terry, Terry, sugar plum fairy. 15K, is that so? Terrence, you know you're not gonna win that trophy. Look, Nick, I'm not trying to beat you, all right? Just really need the money right now. <laughs> you're adorable, Terrence. You're gonna make me puke puppies and rainbows. Quit it, will you? All right, one, one reference. Take him. Who's Tom Dalton? Who's Tom Dalton? Only the biggest high roller that ever rolled. But word of advice, save him for the end of the push. You always want to build up your momentum before you go see the whales. OK. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hey, thank you, parents. I'll talk to you soon. I've got a lot of work to do. Your thoughts are your reality, ladies and gentlemen. Now let me repeat that. Your thoughts are your reality. You are what you think. So don't give in to fears and obstacles. You are the only thing standing in the way of what you want. So if you want something, just go out there and get it. How do you sell a freezer to an Eskimo, Terrence? Throw in a space heater for free. Incorrect. Then how? First build rapport. Establish a personal connection. Explain the benefits of keeping the Eskimos fish protected from bacteria and at a consistent temperature to avoid freezer burn. Then ask for the sale. You've brought me nothing but suffering. Remember, you are your product. If they like you, they will buy.
is all we have. something you like to do today? I don't know. I mean, you end up... Is it possible to get the stove utensils and the snack pack for free? First, set a goal and visualize it every single day. You've got to be willing to make sacrifices. Cut out everything and everybody in your life that does not directly help you towards your goal. I'm sorry, George. I don't think I can do that. But I'll tell you what. Which do you like more, the stove utensils or the snack pack? I love the snack pack. I could use it every day. I love the stove utensils. I do. They're beautiful. Break down your goal into small tasks that you can do every day. How about we bump it up to a 32-piece set, you get that barbecue knife that you love. Plus, I just might be able to throw in the stove utensils and the snack pack for free. Some people want it to happen. Some people wish it would happen. Others make it happen. Which kind of person are you? Is that something you like to do today? Absolutely. We'll take it. Yes, yes. Definitely. We'll take it. <laughs> it. It's not easy. It's not like you flip a switch. Sometimes doing what you dream takes time, effort, hard work, knowledge, money, skill, etc. So let's break it down further. What do you need to be able to achieve your dream as well?
no fatigue is felt on the day of victory. Hey, Tom. Uh, I'm Terrence. Nice to meet you. You're late. Yeah, I know. I, I just had a little car trouble, but I'm here now. What the hell happened to you? What do you mean? You're all bloody and dirty. No, I'm not. Your hand's dripping blood. Yeah, it's, it's just a little cut. You smell like shit. Look, you have no idea what I went through to get here. You know... I'm not comfortable with this anymore, kid. I'm sorry, no. No, 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 no. Just give me 15 minutes, okay? It's 15 minutes of your time. If you don't like what you see, you can kick me out, punch me in the face, do whatever you want. But please, just give me a chance. Let's get this over. Come on, let's go. Thanks for having me over, Tom. I know you're probably super busy, so I appreciate your time. Uh-huh. So how are you enjoying your vacation so far? Vacation? Uh, yeah, your trailer. This is my home. Uh, well, how do you like living in a trailer? So, your wife not home right now? Does it look like I'm married? Oh, well, I was under the impression you were. Sorry. Divorced. So, what do you do? <laughs> oh. oh, man, you thought I was one of those rich old assholes in a big old beach house with a beautiful young trophy wife, didn't you? Hmm? Yeah, I guess I was wrong. Well, you know, you got the old part right, and the asshole part. Retired. Mostly I just fish. Surf a little. Oh, you surf? I'm old, I'm not senile. What do you ride? Old school 10-footer like back in the day. Hey, see that picture? That's North Shore right there. <laughs> what? You surf North Shore? Hell yeah. It's like my dream spot, man. Hey, I have served Bali, Indo, Pipe, Costa Rica, Nam. Hell, kid, you name it, I've surfed it. So what are you doing here? I mean, I'd be kicking in Hawaii if I were you. Uh, that was when I was young. Couldn't do that now. Listen, you want a beer? Oh, no, thanks. OK, well, listen, Terrence, before we start, I just want to get one thing clear. Do you know what that is? Uh, it's a very large knife. That is a K-bar. I've had that knife over 30 years. It's the only knife I've ever needed. It's got fish, rope, wood. It's still sharp as a whip. I even saved my life once. Can your dinky little kitchen knives do that? I didn't think so. Listen, I don't have any money. So I'm not going to be buying any knives today. But even if I was loaded, I wouldn't be buying anything. Nothing. Nothing can replace my K-Bar. Got it? Yes, sir. Great. Well, then, let's see what you got. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go ahead. So is that something you'd like to do today? 
I have to tell you, Terrence, when you first came here, I thought you were crazy. But you got one hell of a fine product here. Thank you, sir. But like I said, it's the only knife I'm ever going to need. Yeah, well, what kind of things do you usually like to cook? Mostly fish. You had a good fillet knife, I might go for that. Well, maybe it's time you start cooking more, you know, start looking after your health. Ah, <laughs> uh, kid, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. At least not this old dog. Well, I mean, we do have some great gift sets. Christmas is just around the corner. No friends, except for the fish. Come on, Tom, an old dude like you's gotta have some friends. What about, uh, what about your family? What did you just say? I mean, you gotta have some friends or family, right? I got no family. I'm sorry, did I say something I shouldn't have? You know, you're a little fucking pushy. I know, I'm sorry. A young grandma like you should be out on the waves. Hang with your buds, scoping out the chicks. Why the hell are you doing this? Uh, my dad got laid off. And, um, I had to get a job to help pay the bills. As my parents got in a big fight over money, and, and uh, they split up. There's this conference tomorrow that I invited them to. It's like a big sales competition. I had a goal of selling $15,000 so they could come and see me win. And I don't know, make a bunch of money or whatever. Sounds so stupid saying it out loud. Why would that sound stupid? What would winning a competition do for my family? Hey, you never catch that wave unless you paddle out to it. Yeah. Well, you're my very last appointment, and... I am $2,500 away from my goal. So, well, I guess I thought that you were loaded and would want to buy a bunch of knives or something. Look, Tom, I'm sorry I wasted your time. Mind if I use your restroom real quick? In the back, first door on the right. Thanks for your time, Tom. Who's that? My son. Thought you said you didn't have any family. He hasn't talked to me in years. Let's get married soon. I'll get out of your way. Hey, Terrence. My son stopped talking to me years ago because he blamed me for the divorce. 
I won't want to see you go through that. So, what would it cost if I wanted to buy a complete sharp coat kitchen for a wedding gift? Uh, 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 um, I thought you said you didn't have any money. I lied. Are you over 13,000? 13,5. Are you over 14,000? Wow, 14,5. Gentlemen. Are you both over $15,000 for push? You guys uh, live around here? Yeah, I live in Encinitas. Nice. nice. Uh, so you surf right out front then? Huh? Yeah, I just got out of the water. How was it? It was good. I surfed swamis. It was good. Good. Looking at getting a board? Yeah, I was looking at some of these for myself, but I'm actually looking for my son Pierce, getting him one for Christmas. Oh, nice. Well, uh, I mean, how old's your son? When do, what exactly are you looking for? He's little. He's five. Do you have any of those little foam boards? We actually just sold out. We're probably not getting another shipment until spring, but. I'll go for this five-foot ground board right here. Let's check it out. I mean, it's pretty wide, so it's easy to easy to paddle into waves, and it's short and light, so easy to carry around and maneuver. Probably carry it too. What'd you start off on? First board I got, my dad got for free out of the crash. Somebody was throwing it away. <laughs> no yeah, it was a big one. This is, but my first real board was probably something. It was a five-four, so it was just a little bit taller than this. But I was a little bit older than Pierce, so. That's cool. How much is it? It's 240 sticker price, but uh, I mean, I could uh, throw in some fins and a leash for free. 240, that's a little more than I want to spend. How about 240, fins, leash, and then you throw in a little tra the traction pad. All right. Is that something you like to do today? All right, I'll take it. All right, let's go ring you up. They want us to believe that we are sheep, so they can take our wool. You are not a sheep. You're a wolf. We got a word of right and wrong, but I prefer just writing songs. Kick back and just get along. Just take it easy. Never understood why all the time People getting caught up in the newest thing I guess they're looking for love, should have tried Looking for someone instead of something And 
Maybe you could tell me why people stare me straight up to the heavens Wanna get this thing right, live forever right But you better get started sometime this life Cause we got a world full of right and wrong But I prefer just writing songs Understood why all the people at the bottom looking up to the big egos on TV shows. I know I prefer the non fiction kind of life. I think getting it right is the hardest part, and maybe that's just why. Just get along and just take it. 